As members of the white community, we have got to stop pushing the agenda that diversity and truth in education is all about indoctrination, shaming, or placing guilt at the feet of white people. Good evening, board members. My name is Melanie Moore. I am the parent of a third and fourth grader in District 2, and I'm grateful for the opportunity to speak with you this evening. The issue I would like to address is the need for equitable education in all areas. But first, I'd like to share a little something personal. I struggle with depression. I have for many years. I've gone to counselors throughout the years, and one of the first things they ask me is, tell me about your family of origin. Tell me about your past. What happened to you in your past that is causing the current trauma and pain that you're feeling? In the same way, our country cannot begin to heal until we deal with the pain, trauma, and hurt from our past. We must teach our children the truth about the past and then show them how to be the change we wish to see in the world. We can help them connect the dots from the awful events of the past to the current issues that face our country so that real change can happen. As members of the white community, we have got to stop pushing the agenda that diversity and truth in education is all about indoctrination, shaming, or placing guilt at the feet of white people. No one is asking you to get up and place your head on the chopping block for the wrongs of the past. People are simply asking for their stories to be heard and taught as ours have been for generations. I would not allow my children to wallow in anger, pain, and self-pity. I would do all I could to help them to be the very best versions of themselves, even if it hurts to point out some painful truths about their behavior. In the same way, we have got to be honest with ourselves and admit that systemic racism is real, that this country was created and prospered under the ideals of white supremacy, and that we are responsible for righting the wrongs of our forefathers. We did not create this mess, but we are the ones that have to clean it up, starting with honest, equitable education practices now that will teach our children the hard truths about our past so that they can create a better future. I understand that change is hard, but it's got to come. Racism is alive and well in this country. It's seen in the groups of white men with torches chanting, you will not replace us, to the fact that in 2021, we still don't have a federal anti-lynching hate crime law. We need to know better, and then we need to do better.